A whopping 2,600 pounds on the nose. This little 154 J flight here at Halet RV is huge on value. <laughs> not gonna be my longest video ever because this is not the biggest camper you're ever gonna find in your lifetime. Now, if you're familiar with your Jayco history, you might actually recognize this layout. Uh, it used to be called the 165 J Feather. Ironically, that was the very first RV I ever sold, and I did it completely by accident. I've always been, I used to be Josh the computer guy, now I'm Josh the RV nerd. The RV nerd thing kind of happened by accident. I am trained in computer science, and I was running our website, and somebody called, and I did my best to answer questions, and they came and bought a camper from me, and the boss said, well, hey, maybe he's got a knack for it. Regardless, there's a little history on all me. Uh, up front here, the dinette's pulling double duty. So it can fold down into a sleeper like this. The thing is, if you don't care about the dinette, if you plan to do like all your cooking and eating outside at, at like a table, you can just turn this into a bed and leave it that way. Like change the mattress out, add a mattress, add a foam topper, whatever works for you. Now, as long as I'm doing history lessons, I should probably give you some of the history of the RV. We actually sold this originally to the uh, one and only previous owners here at Halet RV not too long ago. Uh, they had a, you know, family, small vehicle, and uh, this seemed to kind of fit the bill. They used it for a little bit, found out what they liked, what they didn't, what they needed, what they wanted, and while they brought the RV in for a little bit of uh, winter service work, they said, hey, what if you guys just kept that thing, we got ourselves into something bigger, and they left with a two-slide Jayco J-Flight big bunk beauty here from Halet RV. Now, something that's rather uncommon in a little camper like this is the fact that all this cabinetry is pocket screwed. Very few small single axle budget focused trailers are built with that kind of superior cabinet construction, but that's just how Jayco do, folks. Now down here it's not super easy to see because everything's in the way. We got ourselves a little poly pocket freezer in the top, just enough for some, you know, ice cream sandwiches. And you saw the uh, wastebasket space over there in that cabinet next to the furnace, which is what that uh, kind of vent thing is. Now just to give you, uh, you know, a full view of everything without the cabinets gaping over everywhere. You might notice also how this had that side mount air conditioner. That's going to keep the overall exterior height a lot lower and easier to manage on this camper right here. Now if you're sitting at the dining table where I am right now, this is about what you would see. Originally this would not have had that handy TV mount up there. Previous owners put that in themselves. It's a nice articulating mount. Although, you know, it's installed in an unconventional way, but I don't know that I dislike it. it in a way, it makes a lot of sense because you can point the TV right down where you want it. All your controls for what little there are in this RV would be located right here, by the way, including the switch for the power awning. Now, this is just a you know twin single bunk model. Again, that dinette can pull double duty to fold down if you like it. And that's what's interesting about this one. This is actually a really handy camper for like a single person or like a couple people doing some sisters on the fly or like buddy camping and that vent up there is going to also get rid of a lot of the heat from uh cooking not to mention the fact that it just kind of doubles as a skylight in here pretty handy and probably no surprise the bathroom is basic but functional i mean what more do you really need what is nice is that it's what's called a dry bath where the toilet and the shower are two separate things and you guys ever see the fifth element when he uh, describes himself as a meat popsicle? I've been outside all day, and I think I finally understand what that means. So pardon me as I whip my way around this thing. She is only seven foot wide, and she is very short, which makes this thing very light. Again, that 2,600 pounds, still uh, a little heavy for a lot of minivan towing. I know there's a lot of 3,000 pound rated minivans out there. You can probably do it. I don't know that you're going to enjoy the experience a whole heck of a lot. Uh, but like if you got the larger like 35, 37, 50 rated minivans or SUVs, that is where this one really comes in because that leaves you the ability to actually have some cargo and some people in the vehicle uh, and the trailer, not people in trailer, cargo in the trailer, people in the vehicle, you get the idea and safely tow this thing. Speaking of safely, this does have the J-Smart lighting system, which this generation of little mini J-Flight, kind of, they didn't have it, and then they did, and then they didn't, and now they do again. The tires, I mean, well, again, the whole camper is basically new. Goodyear Endurance radials, power awning with lighting. 
there's not much more you need to know. It's a virtually new camper, had a used price tag, and she is light and weight. So if that looks good to you, you give our team over here at Halet RV a call, and we would love the opportunity to assist you. So take care, stay safe, have fun, and happy Halet camping, everyone.